Hey guys, welcome back here to my channel, it's Kipi, and today we are starting a new series called Foundation. Well, not the series, of course, the game is called Foundation. Skip, hello. <laughs> Anyways, I played this game a few years ago when it was uh, first time released, but guys, the game changed a lot since then, and trust me, it is way, way super damn better, greater, and whatever, -er than before. Um... We can even, by the way, we can even get mods if you want to. There are people are creating stuff for this game. You can create, uh, get buildings and whatnot for the game. But not the case for now. Definitely not the case. And for maps, they have had added this procedural map, type of procedural maps. Like you can generate all sorts of maps until you find the perfect one. So let's just have a quick look. Because this game, it will be based on me trying to explain the best way to do things of course from my perspective and uh, what you have to know and what you have to learn and so on to have a good good uh, time and game first thing first you always have to check the map itself uh, generate maps until you find the perfect one for you for instance when i'm trying to 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 have the first and best start uh, nowadays, since the game updated, is to look for mines. So, these type of mines, you see, they look like stone mines, but have these green stuff on, on them. And that is because your bailiff later on will have to, you have to pay the bailiff to go and, to go in an adventure, of course, not adventure, but to go in an adventure through the woods and find these places and see what's actually here so it can be an iron mi mine gold mine uh, uh quartz uh, and so on e even stone mines and then uh, yeah so this is very important this type of uh, resource is extremely extremely important so you have to find a slot or a, a, a territory that fits you very very well where you think you can develop a village, but you also have all sorts of resources. Oh, look at this one. Here looks better. So after checking few maps, actually, I found one that kind of fits my requirements. My requirements. Now, I like to do a nice village. I want to make it look pretty beautiful and have, you know, something that gives a nice look to it. But for that, you, you, I would prefer to have flat terrain. That There is no such thing in this game, at least not yet. And y I'm looking for good resources, of course. And I like this area here. These three slots look pretty cool. This big island looks really cool. And then we can, you know, develop through this area and through this little lake. But then we have these resources over here. One, two, three uh four five six and plus some stone so we kind of have everything we need in this particular slot so bam we bought this one now when you start the game the most important thing is not placing the village center it makes sense and it's important but not the most important one because i mean people tend to 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 stay here where the city center or the village center is they do their job and then they come here and just do nothing. But later when you build the houses and they will have a place to, to sleep, they will go there. So just plan ahead because this is just for 10 minutes. Like this village center, it's important for 10 minutes. So I'm going to place it over here because the entire village will be like this. Like in a few first episodes and then it will be much, much bigger. Now we have this. We need to start building... Uh, oh, first of all, we, we have to unpause the game. Uh, I'm usually taking the tips also for the game, at least from the beginning. It is important. I don't know. They give you advices. They're telling you to build a workshop, which you would have done. And the workshop has to go very close to the first, let's say, first buildings that you want to build into the game. So I feel like that place, it's perfectly done. Now, we need builders, of course. 
I'm gonna go for few, full amount of builders because anyways, people are doing nothing. So they just sit and do nothing. Then we need a lumber camp. So far, nothing new. I'm gonna place the lumber camp in this area. But watch closely to that circle, red circle. What's inside the red circle will influence the village desirability. Let me put it this way. This is the des desirability. Now it's empty, we, you can't see anything. But once you place this one around it, it's going to be very red. You will see as soon as I plop it down. Build. See, it became red. Village, people will not build around this area if the desirability is very low. So I'm gonna keep the full area for it for my village here, something like this. Okay, this is where I want to have my first time, my first village, I say. Of course, we need to place the extraction uh, area for trees for this lumber camp. So I want it to be like that. I'm going to do the same for stones and for the berries because I don't want to forget later on. Okay, we have this build. Three workers instantly. No, no thinking about it. Nothing to think about it. Okay. Then we need a gathering hut that will go right next to the berries. Bam! Build. No regrets. They will do it immediately. Then the forester camp. Now, for the forester camp, I'm not gonna plop it down yet. I mean, I'm gonna put it down just for the looks, like so. But not gonna press on the build button. Just close it, so I I will not forget about it in the future. Now, once they, the reason why I'm doing this is because uh, I want to place this very close to the to the lumber um, camp, but also to cover a certain area where they, the person working here will actually replant trees. Foragers, three please, because we still have one more villager that is not doing anything so far, not yet. Produce berries. Yes, very soon we will produce our first berry. Uh, the reforestation. I'm gonna just put it down for the looks, but not yet having the person to work there, okay? So it will be like this, but again, just for now and for the looks. New advice can be heard. Please tell me. What do you need? Granary. Yes, sir. For the granary, we need stones. So in order to produce stones, we need to add a stone cutter camp, which also has a red circle. So let's go far from the area where the village is going to be placed. Be very advised, if it's uh, even a word, that when you plop down a building, make sure those arrows or um, triangles, green triangles, point two because those are the entrance and exits from that building make sure you are not for instance doing something like this covering one of the entrances or exits because that building at a point will work but will stop working and then you'll get a lot of messages saying people cannot reach to that building and that's not bueno so now my little ugly faces just created a stone camper build one person to work here because it was only one available but that's not a problem because you'll see how we can manage or how we can switch between our um, let's say first 10 uh, residents that we have now let's focus on the granary and i'll tell you why until we gather stones it's okay if i don't pop it down the granary doesn't have any type of circle around it so this will not influence anything on the game beside of course the distance from the market to it okay so i want to plop down the granary very close to a future market that of course it will be built because the market it is extremely important for people working at the market the granary is very important sorry not the market right and that is because Let's build it over here. So
So let's imagine we do here like a market. No, a do, we, we do here a market. The market, the guy working at the market will have to grab goods only, but only from the granary. So if you want to sell, let's say, berries at the market, he will not or she will not go to the gathering hut to take berries. No, she or he will go only to the granary itself. If you don't have that in the granary, then he or she will not sell any berries. But make sure, that's what I was saying. Make sure you are popping down the granary very close to your future market because I will have it here and my market will be somewhere in this area. Not very far from here. Okay. Now, pay a second attention to the granary and to the first quest when you are being asked to add a granary. See? You will receive 100 coins for that, which is amazing, right? Yes. You have 410 up until now, of course, unless you did something else and then you spend more. And the total amount of coins you can keep is 500. Which means, at this point, I will lose 10 coins. It's not much, I know. But I don't want to lose it. Why? Why losing it? So, I'm gonna go to the book then to the progression tab over here because we very soon like in few minutes from now we will have to unlock the first two of these ones because the third one is just a wooden bridge we don't need a wooden bridge yet so this is for a warehouse you have to pay 25 coins and for a bay leaf 25 more so let's go for the warehouse because again we will need to build that one okay nice now we are less than 400, so we can get the quest. I'm gonna go to the Builder Workshop, tell to Peronella, stop working over here, and go to this granary and assign her there, then go for berries. And actually, I'm gonna go twice for berries. The reason why I'm doing this is because many times I tend to gather around 250 berries from the start. So it's good to have let's say 100 here, 100 here, and 50 here. Give or take. Good. Now we have more. Advice divine, the, uh, defining residence. Buy new territory, paint residential zone. Good. Territory. Let's talk about territory. I want to buy this one. The reason why I want to buy this one is because, as I said from the beginning, is the perfect way to extend more trees, stones, and berries, but I want to have here a farming area from the start, just from the start. So let's paint residential areas. Okay, so we have all the buildings over here. Let's make sure we are adding our future houses very close to the working area because that's how things should be in the end, right? Even though they, you think that, hey, maybe they will do the, that. But if you paint a, a, a bigger area, they can even move over here. And it makes no sense for them to work here or here and have their houses over here. So let's make them aware of that. Unpause the game. I'm always playing at the speed 3 because for me it's no, it makes no point or sense to, to have a, um, a lower speed. Now... We unlocked the market and the warehouse plus the well. If we go over here, people happiness level is zero. Water, food and comfort minus 34. Let's solve this quickly. Comfort very soon because they are building houses. Okay. Then we need to fix the uh, well, the water problem. But have a look. The water well has a green circle around it, which means that everything within this uh, green circle will have a higher desirability um, higher desirability Des desirability not anything else I don't know why I was posing like I wanted to say something else <laughs> so let's plop this down very close to the city or the village center and to this residential area too okay so let's do this bam right in the middle of the road I know people will, will, will create pathways around it why I'm doing this is because when you see pathways created, people will never build their houses on 
the existing pathways. So there will be lots of gaps. These gaps can be filled in later by you, by yourself, with other type of buildings. Good. Um, we need to add a market stall as well. Market. So I'm going to add only a one small market stall for now, not just for now, guys. So let's plop it down around this area. Function, market stall, food stall, because that's the only thing that we can do for now. So road pathway, right? Buildings. So let's do it like, like that for now, guys. And bam. Build. See, the area became greener because again, if you didn't notice, let's just do another test. Market stall. Look at the circle, it's huge. So having multiple markets will make things much better for your village. Much, much better. So now water problem will be solved shortly. Food problem will be solved shortly. Always prioritize constructions. From time to time, we can check out over here, villages, villagers, buildings. We have three, two out of three builders, one transport and one miner. So far, all good, guys. All, all good. Money, pff, we are doing pretty, pretty well. Berries, we are doing pretty, pretty well. We have the first market over there. Let's assign berries to it, but we need to add a market tender. That's how it's called. And we don't have. So what we have, to, we can do at this point is to look at the resources we have and what's the highest number for it, for now berries. So let's get a guy from here and tell to Moleva, stop it, stop it Moleva <laughs> and assign Moleva over here. At this point, I'm not sure if Moleva is a girl or a boy. Anyways, that being done, she will bring or he will bring berries just from the nearby from the granary instantly almost instantly because it's she this this place is very close now the new quest saying that we need to reach the happiness at 100 percent so people can join new people to join our village what we are missing is food and comfort that's it berries are being gathered into the market all good so we just have to wait comfort because not all the houses are yet done. So the last houses is going to be built very soon. But I also have to start building the forester camp very, very soon too. Uh, because these guys will kind of finish extracting all the trees that we have there. Anyways, it's no, no rush yet. Still, we have plenty, plenty of time. So forester camp was built. All the houses are being built. People are 97% happy soon to be 100% happy. What I want to do as soon as I will get a forester, I want to make sure I don't plant all type of trees. Reason why is because there is no reason. It's just for the looks. I'm going to keep all, only the pines. I want to see only pines growing over here, like a pine forest. I, I don't know if it's better for, for uh, like a Lambert camp. Just my opinion, guys. And just for the looks, there is no other reason in the middle. Everyone is very, kind of very happy. Oop, bam. A newcomer is approaching your village. Amazing. A new advice can be heard. What does it say here? So, acquire a warehouse. Already done. Build a warehouse. It's very soon. Assign planks to a warehouse. But, so, a logistics warehouse. Warehouses cost 10 stones and 15 planks. We don't have planks. No one is doing planks for us. So what we have to do is to build a sawmill. Sawmills also have this red circle around it. So be very careful where you plop it down to be, let's say, far from the village. I'm going to go something like this. But again, make sure the arrows will not block anything. Okay, build. Now it makes sense. Hey, we have the two guys. Welcome on board. Forester, just go there. Good. Um, let's have another look over here for buildings because we have that extra person for now. So 
I do not need yet a builder. I'm gonna do a forager. So forager go there. What we observe from the start is the happiness. It's getting lower again. Reasons is they are asking for comfort and service. Service means they want to they need the church, they need to pray or whatever. But we can't add that, not yet. It will take some time until we can add a church. Comfort because we have to know people and they don't have a house yet. But they will soon have one. They already start building it. That being done, uh, what we can do for now is just wait and check one more thing. Here. Bailiff. I'm gonna unlock the bailiff just for now because it doesn't take anything but some money and that's more than fine for me. And in the meantime, I'm gonna look to see where I can build the warehouse. Take note that the warehouse also has the red circle, so don't go with it in the middle of the uh, village. It will affect your desirability. So go far from the far, a bit far, more far from, or far, -er? no. Let's go here. <laughs> Let's go just here. It says outside territory. Like that. I'm not gonna uh, press on the build button yet. But actually, you know what? I'm gonna do that because at least we have two workers. Only two things. See? Ongoing construction, only two. So I know I have two workers, so two constructions. Usually it's like one person per construction, so that's fine. And in, this, in the meantime, they will just bring, you know, goods here. At least... Someone will bring the, 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 the stones over here uh, until we can do the planks. Hey, welcome on board. Sawmill is built. Uh, the only person that was just doing nothing uh, in the village so far. And what I'm about to do now is to just wait and add more people to the sawmill. Very soon, add a second sawmill. Why am I doing this? It's because if we go to the book here and then to the resources and trade routes, we have three possible trade routes. With Norbury, which is allied with labor, with Middle, allied with clergy, and Davenport, allied with kingdom. The first one that you can unlock is the this one, the Norbury, because you can pay 20 uh, planks. Uh, these ones uh, cost 20 common clothes, we will have them later and 20 breads which we will have later but from northbury we will have to buy tools very soon and we can sell polished stones planks and berries but for the beginning we will just sell planks and berries until we will have polished stones so we need to to, to create and have many many planks in order to sell them and make money to buy tools the tools are extremely ex extremely expensive so we have the warehouse built as well now we don't have a transporter we don't have we can't assign a transport yet uh, but we will wait for someone to come in the meantime just uh, make sure we can give tools and then planks and i'm gonna add I think wood would be good because uh, probably we we will reach 100 very very soon. Uh, plan, pay 20 planks. Not yet. We can't uh, unlock the um, trade route yet, but very soon we can do so. We need a lot of. Actually, it's important to have a lot of villagers moving inside the village to be able to expand faster but this is the beginning is only the, the 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 hardest part let's say see no one is waiting over here at the village center anymore they are just going inside the houses doing stuff like whatever sleeping and hello little girl even though she can't sell bread and fish she sells only berries but we see all three of them hello hello whatever you do do not come near me So, we can unlock the trade route for now. Unlock trade route. Bam. Splendor of your village has unlocked a new tier of unlockables. Nice. In the meantime, I'm building a second sawmill 
and hello welcome and here I'm building a another lumber camp we need more trees because we will have two lumber uh, two sawmills so let's go to the progression tab over here resources economy See, for now, at income and expenses, we don't have anything particular. But very soon, we will. I will start selling goods. And then over here, we have the first transporter, right? So, click on the planks, let's say. Planks. I want to sell planks. Anything that's above 15. For now, let's keep only 15. I want to sell berries. Anything that's above 18 in the granaries. And I want to buy, I want to sell, I said yes, and I, I want to buy tools when the, the amount goes lower than 10. That's all we need for now. Only, the only thing we need for now. Build a manor house. Okay. This is the manor house. A building a service of the village's rulership by means of office and halls. Let's go very close to the river because I want to make a bridge and take it on the other side. And on the other side, maybe we will do the big, very big monastery. So let's put this one down there like so. And then the great hall. Rustic great hall. Let's put it like this. Let's add a door like this. And interactive location. Interactive location, this is the location where people that have a quest will come to and just stop there and wait. Not sure if you noticed, but when you build like ah the great of I can I can show you again, but the great hall also had a green circle around it. As you see here, the desirability well it's still low, shows low, but it will be much much higher very soon. Let's add two carpenters for now. Lumber camp, it's built. Cool. And let's have one woodcutter there. So now we just wait until they build the manor. Well, just news alert, guys. As soon as you do that, they will ask for a bailiff office and a tax collector. So that, that's something that we will have to build very, very, very soon afterwards. The manor house is done already, guys. I want to show you something. See, this is why it's good to that you have to sell stuff. Last month, I sold 12 uh, berries worth of 12 coins and planks worth of 24, which means 36. But I bought tools worth of 35, so I just won, let's say, one coin extra. Well, anyways, the last month was negative balance because I had lots of other expenses let's say but that's that doesn't matter it's just that's why you have to do some stuff steps let's call it to to make sure you make the best of let's say uh, of it and win money don't lose money that's important for for the next steps which of course will come with the next episode guys thank you very much for watching hope this was very helpful for you and uh, see you in the next one I salute you.